What's up, Champions fam? It's the bad guy of WWE Champion Zeke Fornell, back with a brand new video. This is a late one, so please forgive me for the upload time on this one. Your boy just got off of work. I'm feeling pretty tired. The bed is calling my name, and it's simply oozing machismo. But for right now, we're just going to go and do a little coverage video because we have a boss battle weekend block of content to look forward to. So let's go ahead and hop into it. We got a brand new block of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Tours. Unfortunately, they hit us with the old Swaparoo. So we had two tours that were available for the past couple of days. Now they replaced those tours with two brand new tours. So unfortunately, if you were not able to do your due diligence and knock out these tours with the contest superstars and all while they were up and running, well, it doesn't look like they're going to be doing any reruns on this one. This isn't FGO. So Either you were able to do everything or you weren't. I'm sorry. That's just how the cookie crumbles on this. And I'm not even really sure if the blog even had intel on that. But nonetheless, I have to agree with my broski from Champions Chat. Lee, please check out his latest podcast with the man, the myth, the legend, the OG Iron Sheik 84, because it is truly golden. And look, it's just realistic, y'all. A little transparency is, is, is necessary in these situations. We went from five new characters to, to nine new characters within, a, within a, a, a millisecond, okay? We went from it being about the blood line to a uh heroes in a half shell week-long event there's a lot going on all at once and it was not expected but like the boy lee said like the young man lee said copy and paste the rocky event and everything would have been great everything would have been golden Teen and teenage Mutant ninja turtles are great it's a nostalgia pop for me. I love it. But like even this with the whole swapping out the tours instead of just leaving them up there, you let the week long contest, uh, uh, the, the, not the week long, but the month long contest stack to a certain point. You let your weekend block content stack for a certain point. Why not do the same with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, especially for two weeks? Like, what are we doing here? Nonetheless, we did have brand new tours and I am going to be real with you. These were a pain in the butt to clear, but I'm going to break it down for you real quick. Let me break it down for you. Now, for this one, this one was unique. This one was definitely unique because the contest superstars for this one, like a boss, you had a couple of options. And sadly, for some reason, it's not allowing me to show you who those characters were after we beat it to each his own, right? I can even go in here. It should show you who could be used, and sadly, it's not. So, look, we used Bailey for the first one, okay? We used Bailey for a majority of it. She got it through. She did a lot. Real easy, simple build for, for my girl, Bailey. We got the loadout right here. We had to take care of showdown business, too. Um, literally, it's easy. Lawler, load up the crossbody, pick Rose, uh, the making the color turn with a lot of blues in them, so when you hit the Bulldog... The Bulldog allows you to cycle. Obviously, you can use other people here so you can get more um, color turns to turn into blue gems, allowing you to stack up more rows. And then you hit the Bailey to Belly suplex to deal damage plus bonus damage per every color turn gem. So we ran her from normal all the way up to hell mode. We did get far with her, but then it got to a point where she was not hitting anymore. So what did we do when we got near the end, when we started, when we got here, when we got to Sonya Deville, and even when we got to Naomi? We used someone who we happened to get <laughs> scoped by when it pertained to going after Jacob Fatu. And we were able to get the girl... Where is she? Where is she at? Alexa Bliss. We took her from five-star silver up to six-star bronze. And it was a drag. Now, uh, I'm pro I am probably ran her the worst way possible. So forgive me on that, okay? Um, but literally, this was another situation where I could have done a video on it, but it would have been so long. 
it wouldn't have worked. And then on top of that, again, like I was trying to clear this out while I was at work, trying to knock things out, running my shift. When I had bread, when I was able to have a break in downtime, I was knocking out the tours as fast as possible. So look, this is what we ran and it worked, but it also was highly tedious because, well, she wasn't hitting. Now, again, this is a situation where, look, I could have probably ran her better. There's no if ands or buts about that. I could have probably stacked up the uh, um I could have probably stacked up the multiplied gem strength with Maj. I could have probably gotten some more black gem damage. I could have also beefed up the blue damage. Okay? But this one around was real easy. Leg sweep, it's going to load itself, but you want to dr destroy enough blue gems to get the flying forearm smash because the flying forearm smash allows you to choose moves to make in the black gems and the pin bar will not move. And then you got the tilt a whirl head scissors where you deal damage and you choose gems to make into multiply gems of a certain strength. So we were running, I believe, if I recall correctly, um, we had, Ma yeah, we had Mosh on there. We had Kofi's for destroying blues. We had Riddle. Um, Riddle was um, Black Gem Generation. And then I think we also had, who else did we have? I think I either had um, Boogeyman. I either had Boogeyman or Alpha on her. Um, but basically, no, or Memrock. No, Memrock. Memrock on there for additional strength. So, look, we, we ran it. It worked. It was just very tedious because she's not hitting like that. And I didn't want to pump too much coin into Alexa, but she got the job done. So that's how we were able to take care of the um, like a boss tour and get through everybody. Because once it was a very board dependent thing, it was a very board dependent bout because you need blues and you need blacks. If you're able to get the multiply gems down on the blues and you got some blacks in the rows or columns that you're using, you can literally keep on breaking and, and loading up, breaking and reloading, breaking and reloading. And basically, it's an infinite turn. It's an infinite loop, right? That's what the goal was. But sadly, sometimes you drop a row or you drop, a, you drop gems and you don't have a blue in sight. Or you have a blue, but underneath it is the black that you needed so you can break it and keep the cycle going. This situation, I needed two blues to have the multiplied gem strength of, of, of five on it, thanks to Memrock, as well as a mosh. I needed two blues with that, and then I would also have the multiplied gems loaded up on the black gems or what I was going to choose to make in the black. And that cycle, once that cycle started, as tedious as it was, it was basically an infinite loop. There was no losing because. It, they kept dropping. Sad to say, there were times where we had to stop progress. But Alexa Bliss did serve a purpose, and we were able to get through it. Now, when it came to the Big Apple Tour, though, the Big Apple Tour was a lot easier because of one guy and one guy alone, and it wasn't hard at all. This, this, is, this is how some things come full effect here, okay? The guy that we ran here for this one, where is he at? He should be here. I'm about to give you your praises and I'm not seeing you. Or is he up a little higher? Dang. Sometimes you got so many people on here, you can't find them. And he's probably staring me right in the face. Where art thou? Where are you? There he is. There he goes. Mick Foley. Mankind. Now, look. This is the only reason why this worked. Okay. First and foremost, we had a 60% strap on him. Gem strap. But then we also have this pretty one right here where, you know what, whenever you break three or more yellow gems, you get purple MP back, right? So there's a cycle to this. But Mick Foley got a rework. He got a setup where his build was real easy. The two-handed -hand bulldog deals damage. Choose a one by three area to swap in the yellow. So every time you hit it, you're going to load up the, the purple again. But by doing this, you increase your green MP by six. So then I'm loading up the mandible claw. I'm putting down, column, uh, putting down columns of botch gems. So that's one way to win the match. If there's nothing but botch gems and they're going after the primary colors, one, two, three, Bob Drunkle, it's done. Or... We get enough cycles because you're only doing the three break and it's already guaranteed loading up your finishers. We get enough columns down to botch gems 
that not only can we hit the manable claw twice or three or however times you get enough box gems down on the board, they're either not kicking out or we hit the running knee lift, which deals damage and bonus damage for every bot gem down on the board. And as you can see by the entourage here, it was all about botch gem damage here. So we were able to get through easy clap with no, no, no one else but mankind. But wait, there is more, y'all. There is more. After we did that, we did some things because... I am a collector, and when there's a deal that can be utilized and purchased, and it doesn't kill me or or call uh, in cost, we go ahead and make it. So, as you can see, as we scroll down here, we got two new acquisitions. They had for ten bucks, mankind, many faces of Mick Foley, mankind, many faces of Mick Foley, and. Uh, this was uh, this was a one that was interesting for a couple of reasons. I'm not because I'm not I'll, I'll be transparent with y'all y'all because this is realistic. I'm the bad guy for a reason. I not only had a very bad problem with with, with like gambling when it comes to the this gotcha game that's WWE champions, let alone Dokkan Battle, Fake Grand Order, Goddess of Victory, Nikkei, okay? That's why I tell y'all to spend responsibly, you, have, you know, if you have priorities before pleasure. That, that saying comes from a real good reason. The time that Mick Foley was released, this is how wild this is, okay? And this is a couple years ago. When Mick Foley was released, when his initial weekend and everything came out, it was literally around the same time that I ended up getting a, um, I was, I was pulled over by men of the law because I was drinking too much happy juice while driving. And I know that that's not something that some people would want to admit, but I'm just being honest with you. The reason why this character is so crazy is because when I literally had gotten a pack where I had one lone loot coin for this guy, and let me show y'all, let me show y'all this. This is how crazy this is because everything has a story. Talk about long story, a term story book, uh, book, uh, booking, right? You see this? This coin was the one coin I got that I was going to use on that loot banner. And sad to say, I had too much happy juice and I ended up in a a, a very tight and small cell that was hell in a cell with no pay-per-view uh, pay-per-view back end. So to come out of <laughs> to come out of uh you know, the center of rehabilitation and recovery after doing some time, some hard time baby uh to come back and literally have this one lone loot coin and to not pull the character i still remember to this day when merrick's made the video about it and saying that was his favorite mcfoley i remember i remember it oh too well and uh so when that pulled up like this is a memory like we're now past that we're in a better space mentally mentally uh, mentally emotionally physically and spiritually most importantly to god be the glory um that loot coin will always remind me of the time of, of a darker time but by the grace of god i overcame it and now by watching this video i you know i'm i'm over two years sober two years clean on all things and all facets and you know what i give all the honor and glory to god but when i saw this guy pull up and I saw the loot coin. I was like, wow. All that time. Like, so like literally I got this character as a memento of just looking back. Like, look at how far I've come. I literally wanted this character. Got a loot coin for him in one of those, one of those packs back in the day. Never even spent it because I was making poor life choices. But now here we are years later comes full circle we got him and we still have the loot coin so it is what it is right but they had him for 10 bucks and i've been like if there's an offer where you can pick up a character that you don't have i always suggest going after it because he is also a great trainer 
Red moves start with uh, with uh, two uh, with two more MP, and yellow moves start with one. So that's one of those things. Like, wow, missed out on one of those characters. But then they had another one, and I believe this one was for seven bucks. We have Bailey, the role model. When you got characters like these, you don't want to miss out with uh, on them. And obviously, you, know, you could probably pick them up different places, like Andre and them. Like I even mentioned, I got Demon King Balor off of the off of the portal with the UCC. But when you got an offer like for a character at five star gold at seven bucks US, uh, you take it. And then blue finishers do one hundred fifty percent more damage. Like this was a good look. This was a good look. There was nothing wrong with doing this. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm just grateful that things came full circle. We were able to pick up two new characters like that. But then we did something else. We did something else, y'all. Because my favorite turtle always has been and always will be Donatello. So we went ahead and we got the six-star bronze off the prize wall. Why? Here's the reason why. I'm not going after Seth Rollins. I cannot knock nobody who goes in all in and pulls him. I can't I can't knock you if you got him from a bag. I kudos to you if you spent $100 to get the, the discounted prize wall. I understand and comprehend that. For me, I love Donatello. Donatello is always going to be my favorite. And I like the Turtles. I do enjoy the gameplay that I've seen of them. But I am fine with having Kofi and Xavier Woods if I'm not able to get Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins. So, you know what? I'm happy that I got him. And I'm glad. I'm loving the animations and everything of him. I'm grateful to have him. That's the way, that's the way I look at it. So, we got two turtles out of the, out of the four. And, of course, Seth is obtainable there is someone out there that pulled him at three star out of a bag there's someone that did the loopholes and they they're going to get him out all off of, off of there his trainer his coaching ability the plus three multiply gem strength is why you're after him anyway so let's just call a spade a spade the same thing with Rey mysterio cool aesthetic great look but not the be all end all. You're literally getting him for the trainer ability. So that's something to keep in mind. But knowing that I had an opportunity for Donatello, I'll just use the rest of these medallions that I get. Since I'm not getting the discounted prize wall, I'll just use that to go ahead and take care of things. Um, just to go ahead and get resources, TP, so on and so forth. So that was what we were able to do with that. And then, you know, we got to do the Jacob Fat 2. The Jacob Fat 2. You know what I mean? We got to check in, see where we're at. We're now sitting at 2755. Now, look, y'all, we know by now, if you don't know, allow me to educate you. We're about to have the boss battle weekend co come up with Solo Sokoa. I literally thought I was all over the board with this one. I was wrong. I was wrong. I like, I don't know what else. I thought Jacob Fatu was going to be the boss battle character. I genuinely thought it, but then we ended up having an early boss battle with Seth Rollins, Leonardo. It it just the whole the whole structure threw me off for this one. Okay, so Jacob I thought was going to be the boss battle character. Instead, no, it is Solo Sokoa. So that's what's going on. Um, and then it kind of it does make sense. I mean, Tonga Loa is the free to play. Tama Tonga was was showdown. Jacob Fatu was Faction Feud, Solo Sokoa is Boss Battle, and that must mean, of course, that OTC Original Tribal Chief Roman Reigns is going to be Flash Feud, right? Right? I honestly don't even know anymore, y'all. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if Roman's just his own thing. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a new Nia Jax. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a, a waifu version of, um, I could, no lie, I could see them getting Becky Lynch's April O'Neil. I could see that being a surprise because the TM, because the Teenage Mutant, yeah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, contest runs for two weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if they snuck that in. There could very well be 10 characters debuting within this Bloodline Takeover MLC. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. But I do know that I'm at 27.55 right now. Um, Cowabunga, we're at 13 out of 25 for milestones, right? So we are about to hit this one. That gives me 50, right? So we're going to keep working towards that. And more than likely, we will get there. Where are we at? It says 23,500. Okay, we're at 20 mil right now. So we hit that. That would put me at 2,800, right? Yeah, if my math is mathing. Yeah, that would be at 20, uh, 28, 2,805. Then I can buy the uh, buy the shards off of the prize wall, off of with the medallions. That would put me at 2,905. Now, they did say, they did say, there will be shards of Jacob in this loop this upcoming weekend. Now, I do have a choice to make on this one. Depending. Depending. Because then it's like, sometimes it gets very convoluted, and I don't know why. Like, Tama Tonga, you had the card. You had his shards. Jacob Fatu basically got the Nation of Domination rock situation. Either you're getting the card or you're not getting them at all. But now, with Solo Sokoa's situation, you're able to get Jacob shards off the loot. But I don't know if... I, it's, it's, they don't even have the picture up, y'all. That's what's making things confusing for me. They don't even have the picture up for Jacob uh, for um, Solo Sokoa's loot. It's not showing you if like his shards are in there, like Solo shards. They're not saying if... Wait a minute. Let's see. Hold up. Let's go over here. Okay, this is the bloodline one. Okay, get his poster and shards and loot. Solo Sokoa. 200 and solo milestones. Prize wall. Get his six-star silver poster and loot. Okay. So what's that? That's basically telling me, and it's probably going to coerce me to do it. I don't want to do it, but I probably will. That's basically saying to me that my best shot, because there are a couple things that I could have done, but I'm not going to do, right? I could easily get a pack. The pack would put me over, you know what I mean? Because 25, 25, that would put me over 2,800. But then if the shards are inside of the solo loot, I'd have a better chance of just going ahead and double dipping and doing that and getting it off the portal, doing the pulls, getting the shards of Jacob, and hopefully they're good drops, right? And that'll guarantee me a closer range of getting to him. So I might bite the bullet. Like the last time the midweek prize wall, I should have gotten it because it was a hundred shards of him guaranteed. I should have gotten that midweek prize wall. FOMO is a thing. There's no sense of me getting the 69 pack because I did the math for that contest for the master manager, right? I'm already almost there at the end. There's no sense of me getting that pack. I could do the 69. I could do the 69. But this harsh reality of it is, is that, well, I mean, this would be good look for me right there. And I can easily just pick up the... um. You pick up the red TP pack because I'm going to need them. Going to need them. Uh, but I wouldn't be close to getting that to get those additional shards there. So I could uh, say yes to the 69 pack, get the two bags, maybe get them at three star bronze. But no, we've already like basically got ourselves trained for a five star bronze Jacob Fatu. That is what we're looking for, y'all. And looking at how everything is, more than likely sad to say, probably only going to be able to get him up to six star silver, but that is fine. I am fine. As long as I have him on my crew, that's what I'm going to do. My big thing is for talent up for Flash Feud, Jacob Fatu to as high as I can take him, and Bret Hart, best there is, best there ever was, best there ever will be, going up high enough to access his ability. Because we worked on him, and we worked on Uzi Machismo, uh, Razor Ramon, for this master manager to get us as far as we could when it comes to a trainer ability and just milestones. So, we will see how things play out. I did not mean to hold y'all as long as I have, but again, I like just covering things. Uh, we are close, we are getting closer to Jacob. Um, and again, that Kawabunga, I am confident that with all the tours, let alone the showdown, 
we will get enough to get that 50. I'm just hoping that if I decide to do pulls, I'm praying that I'm able to get him sooner rather than later. That's what I'm saying. Like all I really need, all I really would like personally is just enough drop shards so that when Monday comes around, beat the Tongaloa tour on hell mode, get the hundred shards, recruit him and call it a day. That's what I'm praying for. But we will see how things go, y'all. Um, again, it's sad that they did what they did with the power. Uh, mm, I was about to say the Power Rangers. Um, the TMNT uh, tours, the tur uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tours. But uh, it is what it is. It's Scopely. Don't be surprised. Um, I do, do strongly believe that we had a true influx of content. And I got a strong feeling even with the last week of the MLC, there will be another influx of content. And that's sad to say, but I wouldn't be surprised either. And depending on who you are, like, for instance, like, if you're just playing the game, you don't got nothing to worry about. But my heart goes out to content creators like like yours truly, because it also means, especially if you have a life, you got kids, you got family, you know, the thing is, the harsh reality of it is, is that you're only going to be able to do so much, uh, do so much. There's only so much time in a day, right? And sadly, when you got so much content getting hit and hit on the bloodline takeover side, let alone the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles side, there's a lot going on. Like even with the whole, like the Rosie tour, the showdown, you got the tours for the, T uh, for the Teenage, Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Then you got the three minute warning tour with Eric Bischoff. There's just a lot going on all at the same time. And either you're going to make a time out of your day to make it work, or it's going to be like tough banana split. Either you're going to get it done or you're not. But you know how we do. One way or the other, if I'm able to do the video on it, I'll do it. If I have to make a video covering it, I'll do it. I'll just make sure to make things work out so I'm not killing myself. Because at the end of the day, this is a game. It's not my job. I just enjoy doing what I do, making content on here. But you should know how it goes by now. Hey, yo, hard work pays off. Dreams come true. Bad times don't last. Bad times don't last. Pardon me, but champions do. Mad love and respect to each and every single one of you and my beloved champions fam. Like the video, share the video. But most importantly of all, you don't have to. But if you're really rocking with your boy, do yourselves a favor by making sure to drop a people's elbow on the subscribe button as well as hit a Raiders Edge on the bell icon to receive all future notifications from yours truly, the one and only bad guy at WWE Champions, Zeke 4 0, the most electrifying content creator in WWE Champions Entertainment. I love you all. I respect you all. I'm praying for you all tenfold. Let the good times roll. Again, char check. How far are you when it comes to Jacob? Honestly, I am curious too now that I'm bringing him up. How far am I on Solo Sokoa? Because I've done a lot. Yeah, I'm not going to get him. I'm no I have no chance. I'm not no shot. I'm not getting him. But, I mean, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm getting close. I know that they said that they got Cody Rhodes shards. How many do I have of him? I, honestly, if I'm able to get that far, I will go ahead and grab those 200 shards, 500 away from a real top notch um, Cody and powerhouse rep. I will gladly take it. Trish Stratus is also on here, too. How many do I need of her? OK, yeah, they got a couple. Yeah, we're going to have to make some decisions. The only downside is focus is stacked. And quite frankly, do I need her when I got this lovely lady right here? Well, well, well. Yeah, we 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 golden, we golden, we golden. But we will see how things happen. It's still like when I look at this guy now, it's crazy to see how crazy things have gone and come full circle. Um, but you know what? You know what? I'm in a better place in a better space. And you know what? I'm praying for all of y'all out there. If you're dealing with addiction one way or the other, you know what I mean? Um alcohol had a, had a, had a hold on me, but by the grace of God, I found God and got my life right. May, and, you know, prioritize. I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm not the man that I was yesteryear. And I'm a far better man than I, uh, that I was then. I'm a greater man today. So, you know what? The same thing. If I can conquer my addiction, if I can conquer my vices, you can do the same. So I want to see y'all win. I made it. So I know that you can make it. 
If I can do it, you can do it because I'm a human just like you. But always know that you're a child of God. And so I'm praying for y'all. But again, you know, this guy right here, it's crazy to think like certain champions are time stamp in the history of the game and for better or worse. And so, you know, to finally have him on here, we all have many faces. We all wear many masks. But at the end of the day, when you get home, when the doors are closed, you got to live with uh, who you really are. So, you know what? I'm grateful that I can let y'all know I'm far from perfect. But you know what? It's through my imperfections that I found out how amazing of an individual I am. And you know what? The people that are in my life are meant to be in my life. And the purpose that I have and that I'm walking out now, I have no regrets. And like Undertaker said to uh, Shawn Michaels a long time ago, sometimes you got to go through hell to get through heaven. And thankfully, I made it through. And your boy's still hot. So nonetheless, y'all, God bless you all. And again, praying for you. If you're going through anything right now, if you got an addiction, if you're going through something, know that I'm in your corner. I'm praying for you and yours. And I want you to come out on top because at the end of the day, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, no matter what you're going through, you will always be a champion. So until next time, y'all, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. We're going to rock it out one way or the other. Might see it, depending on how that loop looks uh, for uh, with Jacob Shards, your boy might be doing some pulls. If not, be on the lookout for some gameplay on the tours. Take care. I'm out. Peace.